Hey guys, this is Malakat with another tutorial on um, setting up CUDA Miner to do strata mining. Um, now I've already got mine set up and it's it's already running. Um, just a note, you can see it's only got three valid shares right now. I'm going to let it run while I do the tutorial um, so that y'all can see that it... Oh, actually, there you go. Accepted. Um, it actually does work. Uh, you get your little accepted files and we'll see if this is updated already or not Okay, well the site's running a little bit behind but the program itself is working. We'll check back on this after we're done with the tutorial uh, First thing we're gonna want to do of course is go ahead and download CUDA miner if you don't have it, I'll post the link up at the bottom um, You're also going to need Stratum proxy, which uh, you can get from just about any site. Um, I know the last site was using We or uh, We We Mine. Um, it was Lightbonk.com. Um, this time I'm using We Mine LTC.com. Uh, you can go to any site really and pick it up from there. This one has it right here. Uh, you're gonna want to download again, like I said, both CUDA Miner and the proxy. Um, this is how I figured out how to do it. Um, let's see here. Once you're done downloading them, just create a new folder. It doesn't matter what you name it. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Um, you'll drop mining proxy and all of the CUDA files into the same folder. Um, now before we get ahead of ourselves, I don't know if uh, some people are doing this from the start, so we'll go ahead and cover this real quick. Uh, if you're on Windows 7, hit Alt, it'll bring up the little tab up here, go to Tools, go to Folder Options, go to View, make sure that Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unchecked, basically your view should look like mine, and there's a reason for that. Um, once you're done, hit Apply or hit OK, whichever one, they'll, they'll both work. Then we go back into this folder. You're going to right click, go to text document, and you're just going to create a new text. I know I'm deleting mine, but that's because I've got enough of them in there. First thing you're going to want to do is once, once you open up your text, you're going to put in cudaminer.exe space minus small o space then the site, again I'm using a we mine LTC this time around, you're going to put the bracket right after .com, this is going to separate the site from the port, you're going to put the port on the right hand side, right there, space minus big O, this is going to be for your username and your password and uh, that's for your worker username and worker password not the login don't use that you just use your uh, worker one now before you go to save you're gonna go to save as don't save it as anything else go to save as first and just rename it whatever you want uh, this one as you can tell is renamed uh, we mine LTC but instead of saving it as what would be a text file normally you're going to save it as a bat file, BAT. And that's actually why we um, we changed the settings up here in the tools earlier. Because if we hadn't changed that, it wouldn't let you create the little bat files. Anyways, uh, after you're done creating that one, um, go ahead and open up another one. And you're going to put almost basically the same thing in here um, this time it's mining proxy let me move some of this stuff around real quick right here it's going to be mining proxy dot exe space minus small o space then the site again and this one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of putting the little bracket in between and then putting the port, you're going to put space, minus, lowercase p, space, and then the port. 
and again you're going to do the same thing with this one when you save it you go to save as don't go to anything else you're going to save it as proxy.bat um, that's just what I saved it as um, you can be more specific if you want so we mine LTC proxy you know save it that way going to close both of those um, once you're done with that all you really have to do is click on both the proxy C click on proxy first actually click proxy first and as soon as it comes up here we'll go and do it real quick it'll do a little warning flash kind of and then you hit your we mine LTC dot bat or whatever the site is that you're using and it'll start again auto-tuning this is gonna probably take me a little bit just because um, I'm recording I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff on the PC at once but I just I want to record it just to show everybody that it does work and as long as you follow these steps it'll work perfectly fine for you um, now I do get messages from people saying that hey you know uh, mine gives me an error or it'll shut down um, a lot of that sometimes has to do with your firewall um, fortunately I can't really mess with your firewall settings that's something that you guys are gonna have to figure out um, and I know it can be annoying I've sat here and had to do that with mine too so but uh, there we go. Um, you can actually see it's it's recording now, or it's it's doing what it's supposed to. It's got my GeForce GT 240, a really crappy card. Uh, 40, <laughs> 4224 hashes. And uh, again, it'll probably take a while for me to actually find another another valid uh, piece. But if we go back here at the beginning, we started off at three. It's actually at five now. So. Uh, just follow these steps and it'll work for you. Uh, if you have any problems, again, um, feel free to drop a line. Uh, I'll try to do my best as I, you know, as I can. Um, if I don't reply during the weekdays, I apologize. I tend to do these videos during the weekends. So, have a good one, guys.